So welcome back to my channel, this is Dom and update on some of the figure painting this last week or so and it's been really productive, I've done an awful lot of figures in a very short space of time. Um, some of you may have seen my cheaty video of recycling some old English Civil War figures that I found in the garage. Uh, I'll link to it here if I can work out how to do that. Um, so actually went down remarkably well. I was a little nervous about doing that video because there's so many good painters out there, so many purists who do a fantastic job of painting and it was serious cheating on my part and very, very sloppy work. But they came out well, so, you know, that's what it is. So continuing with the English Civil War theme, um, and you may have seen in the background the last couple of videos um, some undercoated... English Civil War Royalist Cavalry um, that I got on eBay from um, I think they're Renegade um, miniatures. Um, I bought two boxes of them and I've now painted up the first box and I'm really really pleased and in sort of keeping with the winter warmer challenge from Fritz stroke Leon um, I decided to continue with challenging myself so I don't like painting horses tick I don't like painting white tick so I did grey horses um, I did a regiment of grey horses and I'm really quite pleased with how they came out um, I think they've you know they're not the best figures I've ever seen but they're not bad and I think they've come out really nicely and they'll form part of um, my royalist cavalry for the English Civil War force I'm pulling together now getting quite substantial um, not going to be able to do an awful lot more for, for a little while but um, that I'm really pleased with the progress I'm making with the army and I think it, the effect is pretty good as a nice mass regiment. Hopefully we'll be seeing action this coming Friday. So as well as the cavalry and the infantry that I've been doing for an English Civil War, I thought I'd need some ordnance to support that. So I had a couple of guns. Um, in fact, one of, um, sadly, one of our uh, founding members of the Farnborough War Games Society uh, died last year um, and uh, the club was given all his uh, old figures to sell off for charity and I bought a few um, they were very very old figures and I did buy a couple of English Civil War guns uh, with their crews now I have to be honest the, the crews were a lot worse than I expected when I got them home uh, but I kept, and so they, they, they didn't make it to even be recycled by me however the guns were okay so these are the guns that came from there so I've no idea where they came from and I just bought um, a couple of extra gun crews to go with them um, and this is um, there's a video coming up where I talk about how I do the basing um, for, of my figures and, and so th this is one of the officers and you'll see this this uh, officer featured in that video as I explain how the basing happens so a couple of guns and an officer f for the English Civil War figures I think that's probably going to be it for a little while on that on that score so finally because I get distracted very easily um, I, as you know, if you watch the channel, I've been working on some Hungarian figures, uh, World War II bolt action army from the um, C, uh, what is it, Fortress Budapest supplement. Um, and within the list, you can get a, a little CV 33 um, tankette. And it's been really hard to find one. I really wanted to use it because the bonus of it, it's like having an armored car, um, double uh, medium machine gun on the front. But also it's enclosed and a lot of the armoured cars variants in bolt action are open topped and therefore very susceptible to just being pinned out by anything that wants to fire at them. So I was keen to get one of these little things. Um, apparently they were used, well they were sort of old captured Italian ones that were pressed into service in the defensive Budapest and I thought they'd be quite fun to have in the army. So um, Warlords actually started to sell them. Um, and they uh, they hadn't quite reached the um, the, reduc the discount manufacturers yet, but because warlords are about to put their prices up, ugh, that's terrible. I know they have to; they're a business, right? But some of the price raises they're talking about is is quite scary. Um, but before they do, they were doing the free postage for any amount of order, and I thought, right, well, I can buy just this CV thirty three, and also I wanted um, one of the anti. Um, uh, it's a Panzer Shrek that the Hungarians have in their list, uh, which comes in a double pack with an anti tank rifle man, which I haven't painted up yet, um, and his crew member. Um, and I thought, well, normally I wouldn't bother because they're just, you know, I don't know it was 
20 quid or something for the for the pair um and but then if you add, add in a whole load of extra postage what's the point normally i would buy through a uh, say a 20 percent discounter like um uh, goblin games i buy a lot of my warlord stuff from um but they haven't got these figures yet so i thought well because of the free uh, postage I'll, I'll buy them so they came very quickly and of course they came very quickly so i wanted to paint it up and it's dead simple this was a, this is a resin um, and metal combined kit um, you know you just put the tracks on you put the exhaust on you put the gun barrel on and that is it uh, and obviously goes um, and I've kept it just like it's sort of an old rusty one that's been in the um, in storage for a while you can see it's got the Hungarian uh, emblem on the back um, and I've even put the number plate on the bottom there um, but it's just designed to be, you know, quick and dirty. Came out of storage. Really pleased with how the uh, Panzer Shrek guys came out. Uh, so if you can show them off. Um, this is, uh, let's say, this is one of the new models from Warlords. It's metal, um, and I just liked it. And I've used contrast paints again, like I did with the rest of the army. Uh, this is uh, Bagman carrying a couple of boxes of ammunition. Um, nice animated figures really enjoyed doing that the one stupid thing i did um i've been using these um lovely rubble bases from um uh pocket scenics uh, for the rest of my army and um i completely forgot and i stuck these down on another base and then realized oh shoot so i've just sort of used some of the bricks that i had and just sort of built the bases up so they won't look too out of place. And I suppose the, the, the bonus of that is if I decide to do the early war army that I've also talked about doing for the Hungarians, these could swap in for that. Um, if Actually, the Panzer Shrek wasn't used early war. Oh, well, never mind. We'll, we'll work around it. But, um, yeah, quite pleased with how they've all come out. And um, they'll they'll be a nice addition to the, uh, the army. A bit concerned about those pay, uh, price increases for Warlords. Um, some of their stuff you know is already very very expensive and um some of the box sets not too bad but i suppose it just means we'll all move and buy perry stuff or various other first core stuff that's um can, you know cheaper um, but i think they may be miss missing the point really in terms of pricing we'll see we'll see what happens i guess we'll see what the prices go up to but uh yeah interesting so there you go that's my painting this uh, last week week and a half um, quite productive, quite pleased with how it's come out, particularly those uh, uh, the, the uh, Royalist Cavalry, I think they've come out really nicely and I'm quite proud of myself to have managed to do greys and look reasonably good um, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did please give it a like um, I'm not going to be able to do many videos uh, for the next couple of weeks because um, I'm away in Germany next week uh, for a couple of days on business and then the week after I'm in the US for a whole week uh, for business so um means my gaming's going to be curtailed and it certainly means the painting's not going to happen quite as much but um i shall keep watching everyone else's videos with interest and drool at all their work in the way i normally do so i hope you uh, hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a like thanks so much for all the extra subscribers creepy creeping creeping up to 500 might even have just about hit 500 by the time uh, this video go live which is just extraordinary so thank you so much for that particularly um thank you to uh, ken for shouting out on his channel um you know really good thanks very much mate for for, for doing that and uh it certainly helped just bump me along with the, the next few subscribers which got me closer to the 500 so appreciate that and i appreciate all the support and uh community there is in uh, the youtube wargaming community which is just outstanding so enjoy your weeks have great have a great time and i'll see you again soon this is dom signing out